So, back in college, I used to be an RA. And we used to uh, have game nights. Now, before college started, security and the RAs, we all got together. And we were doing game night at my place. That game night got a little risque. We ended up playing Truth or Dare with uh, the security people. One of them, and I, I thank my boy for this, he hooked me up. He gave me the assist, and one of those security girls became my girlfriend. Arigato, um, sad news, we broke up after three weeks. But it's okay. I really liked her, but, um, you know, it happens. So flash forward, still doing game nights. And we have a new person that became security. And she comes over for a game night. I wasn't, I thought she was cute, but I wasn't attracted to her to try to pursue her. She developed a crush on me. Oh. Damn. And I, I didn't know at the time, but then I started noticing she would show up at my art building and she was criminal justice major. They were like on opposite sides of the, the, um, the campus. And she would just be randomly in the art building all the time after I got out of class. So I'm like, what the hell is going on here? Finally, my friend that was a roommate, who's also cool with the security, he said, she really likes you. And I'm like, well, I don't. I don't really like her like that, but um, whatever. But then, because I'm a, I was a college student, I was horny, and <laughs> I was like, let me, and I know, I know, I know, makes me sound like a bad guy, I don't care. You know, you know, I'm okay with, perfectly okay with making myself sound like a bad guy. I thought, you know, I would just, Scoop that up. Scoop that up, you know. If, you, if you're throwing it, I'm, I'm going to catch it. What happened was, I started inviting her over. We were hanging out. And um, even though she liked me, I would always keep her at a distance. But, like, I would start trying to, like, kiss her and stuff like that. So one night, we were trying to, uh, you know, adult time. And... She was like, I just want you to know that I'm the, the, the V word. And I think we better call it a night. <laughs> I know. I know I'm horrible. I know I'm horrible. I know I'm horrible. It might make me sound horrible, but I can't. Not with the See, and that's what I get. That's exactly what I get for being a horrible a-hole. After that night. She got into a relationship. So I was like, cool, whatever. Not offended, not pissed off. I didn't like her like that. A couple months later, they broke it off. She comes to me. This is like a few, few weeks later. Comes to me and it's like, I broke up with my boyfriend. But I did lose my virginity. So I was like, okay, that's fine. Come over tonight. I was stuck on campus anyway. My friends were going out for the night. They were leaving me by myself because I couldn't go anywhere because I was on duty because I was an RA. So what happened was I told her to come over. We're going to watch uh, Despair's Ray. I'm a big Visual K, J-Rock fan. I was like, we'll watch that and just chill. Sidebar. My go-to movies for adult time. Rugrats in Paris. All dogs go to heaven. So I'm telling you right now, if you ever come over my place and I say, uh, let's pop in the, the Rugrats in Paris or the All Dogs Go to Heaven. 
I ever say that, that means I'm trying to get it in. So I popped in a Despair's Ray DVD and we're laying there watching Despair's Ray. And we start, you know, fooling around, making out and stuff. You know, things are getting hot and heavy. You know, we get into adult time. So, you know, I'm about to, I'm about to, you know, adult time. And I hear the door open. Not my door, not my room door, but like the door to um the apartment. So I walk out there. And I'm like, oh, hey, guys, how y'all doing? And they're drunk. They come in, oh, what's up, Frey, how you doing? You know, blah, 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 blah. The party was awesome. We just brought somebody over just going to crash here for the night. You don't mind, do you? And I was like, no, whoever is crashing, you know, it's, it's okay, whatever. So as he steps out the way, My ex-girlfriend is behind him, drunk as crap. The one that broke up with me. And, you know, I, st I was like, wait, I, I still have feelings for this girl. And at the time, my roommate, he was the type of guy where he was bringing random girls home every weekend. So imagine what I'm thinking. Dude, you about to, you about to smash my, my, you about to try to smash my ex? You try to sneak my ex in here? <laughs> so, I proceeded to say, I'm just going to sleep in a chair, and she's going to sleep on a couch. So he was like, well, she could just stay in the room with me. And I was like, oh, no, 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 no. She's going to sleep out here on the couch. I'm going to sleep out here on the, on the chair. And I bid you a good night, sir. <laughs> so that's when young stalker decides to come out of the room. <laughs> and like, oh, what's going on? And I'm like, I'm, I'm sorry. You have to go. That's right. That's right, you people. That's what I did. That's what I did. Because I was a little emotional. Bia, bia. I ruined the night. All I know is that I cock blocked my roommate and I left my cell phone dry because I was an emotional bia bia. So nobody had a good time that night. <laughs> so then, after that, what had happened was I was able to go out to a party with my friends and we're, you know, laughing, drinking, having fun getting drunk as crap and then what had happened was is we came home and I see a lump in my bed well young stalker decided that she was going to surprise me and be in my bed when I got back and I was like eh, I don't know how you got in here but you need to leave I don't know how she got in there I mean, she could have, her, her security friends could have let her in. I doubt if she scaled the, the freaking wall because we were three stories up. But somehow she got in there and she was in my bed. And I was like, yeah, I think you better go. So after that, I tried to avoid her as much as possible. And then eventually she got the hint and she got into another relationship with somebody. And then she stopped um talking to me i will say this though i saw her at an anime convention that it was like a year or two later i saw her at an anime convention we went to like lunch and then that was basically our encounter and then a couple of months later she actually messaged me on facebook and she let me have it. She was like, I came to the conclusion that you were just using me because I liked you. I'm a stronger person than that. And I can't believe you did that. And you're a jerk. And you're a big meanie head. And blah, blah, blah. And I was like, you know what? I, yeah. Yeah. 
I was a jerk. I, I was a jerk. I, I played with her to to get my adult fun, but then I um didn't get the adult fun. You know what I should have did? In retrospect, what I should have did, because she probably would have been down for this, and my ex probably would have been down for this, I could have just made it into like a my roommate, me, stalker, ex, we could have all won that night. <laughs>